If you guys need some cheap and reliable coins, man, check out my sponsor, AOEAH.com, for the cheapest coins on the market, man. Use my code BREE for 3% off your order. We're back here with another video for you guys today. Today we have the best running backs here in Madden 23 Ultimate Team. I have used at least every single one of these cards that is on this list. Except, yeah, yeah, I have, yeah. So my opinion, opinion is pretty valid. So coming in at number 10, we have Marshawn Lynch. Uh, I will give you guys the honorable mentions at the end, but 94 speed, 97 excel, 90 agility, 89 awareness, 88 strength, 91 carrying, 87 bar carry vision, 96 juke move, 95 spin move, 97 trucking. Pretty solid card. He's under 200K. So if you're lacking a running back, which we have, we get a running back every single week, guys. So keep that in mind. But if you're lacking running backs, I would pick up Marshall Lynch if you are kind of on a budget. But we do have people like Travis Etienne that's out there for free, which he just went away if you need a chance to pick him up. But overall, this Marshall Lynch is really, really good, man. Ability wise, he gets Bruiser for zero IP, which is really good. Tank, goal line back. I would show the slap on Tank and probably Bruiser to be a tank out there to the, uh, get a boy getting his stick. But truly, if you guys are looking for a better running back, there are better options. But overall, if you're looking for a budget, I think he would probably be the most budget-friendly one on this list for you guys. Coming up next is Sean Alexander. And it's crazy because this card came out not too long ago. And I don't, I rarely play this card. It's rare I play this card. Some solid stats. His ability is a little iffy. Um, 95 speed, 95 excel, 90 agility, 95 carry, 93 bar carry move, 94 juke move, 96, 85 spin, 96 trucky, 92 COD, 96 break tackle. Um, Legends, Commander, Seahawks. A really good card. I think his ability is really kind of hold him the most. And he's pretty big Um, like when he hit those gaps. But overall, I think the ability will really hold this card back. Um, Evasive for one. Closer for zero. Zero, goal line back for one, run back apprentice for one, and tank for one. If this was at least zero, at least tank or goal line back was at least zero, or maybe um bruiser or for cheaper, he would have been a, I think a most sought out card. I mean, he'll be 96 speed on a legend team, team but 97 on commander of the Seahawks. I just feel like this card is for the price and the value is not worth picking up in my personal opinion number eight i'm surprised i put him on this list demarco murray truly in my personal opinion um he still is annoying to this day even though demarco murray might have better i mean uh sean Alexander might have better stats demarco murray i think play will play a whole lot better he's a lot more he's slimmer than sean Alexander. he hit those gaps and he's break so many tackles but 94 speed 94 excel 93 agility um 94 carry 90 bar carry vision 94 juke move 93 spin move 91 trucking, 93 stiff arm, 95 COD, 95 break tackle. So a, a solid card, really is. His ability is the one that bothers me the most. Juke move, juke box for zero, unless you're on current gen. Um, bulldozer for one, wish you had a bruiser, but backfield mismatch, backfield mass for uh, for two, and short and elite. Ability is a little bit, uh, like I said, but it, I think it's way better than Charlotte, under my personal opinion. Um, but like you said, yeah, really, really solid car. 83 short, 77 uh, catch traffic, and that's 76 medium, and 66 deep. What are these guys? So, yeah, I know his is pretty bad. Marshawn is also pretty, it's decent, it's better than Sean Alexander's. Number seven, we have Kenneth Walker. I'm surprised I put him this high, and he just got his redux today, and this was a card I always wanted to pick up after I tested him out, but um, I I'm going to put him pretty high. I could be wrong. If you want to go with someone like Travis Etienne, you can, but I actually did enjoy this card. 95 speed, 93 excel, 93 agility, 94 carrying, 93 bar carry, 96 juke boot, 94 spin, 93 chucky, 85 stiff arm, 94 COD, 94 bra uh, break tackle. 84 short ability wise also pretty solid as well gets goal line back for zero which is in my opinion the best ability you can have like one of the top three you can have when you're running back evasive for one human joystick is actually pretty solid especially one of the players on this list but for sure i think he's really good i i really do he's, he's i think he's a very underrated running back in this game i think he got shadow because of marshawn lynch came out i think somebody else might have came out so not a lot of people was really rocking out with him and uh, i think uh what cromarty and also patrick mahomes had also came out coming in up next we have eric dixon ed another card that in my personal opinion like got he just got replaced so quickly. He yeah, he came out the weekend, but I think that following Monday or that following week, we had like two or three more running backs, so he became useless. 95 speed, 93 excel, 95 agility, 94 COD, 80 short, uh 77 release, 75 medium, 70 deep. Uh, overall, it's not a bad car. I just think also again the abilities on this car wasn't as great. As it should have been, but he did play pretty good for me. Backfield master for one, bruiser for one, tank for one, leapfrog for one. You got to choose between really backfield master, bruiser, and tank. So maybe if one of these was also in this tier, 
would have made a little bit more better, but you truly got to make a decision which you want to run. Um, but besides that, I mean, I think he'll play fine without no abilities. But, I mean, if you want to have it, you want something at least for zero on your running backs. Next up is going to be Isaiah Pacheco. Oh, man. If you guys in the stream at one time, I'll play the dude who ran the ball with him every play. And he had time possession of 13 minutes. 95 speed, 97 excel, 96 agility, 95 carrying, 96 COD, uh, 88 stiff arm, 98 trucky, 96 spin move, 91 juke move. I think this might be the only card on next gen that is worth putting jukebox and slapping on human joystick. He would just move in so well. I don't know why, y'all. I don't know because of his traits. I don't know because of his uh, agility, his juke move, spin move. He was moving so nice. That I barely could touch him. And if you guys have played this Pacheco, you guys know this is for sure. You can arguably say this could be this is uh, you know a top five bat, but you can potentially maybe argue put him in there in top three in the right hand. So I do think he is a top five running back to get on your team and add to because of just how nice he was. And when he played for me, he was really good for me. Austin Eckler is coming in at number four. I want to switch him Pacheco, but I think stats wise, Austin Eckler is better. I think, I mean, they're about the same, even almost ability wise. 96 speed, 95 excel, 94 agility, 95 carry, 94, 95 bar carry vision, 97 juke move, 94 spin move, 85 trucking, 95 COD, 87 short, uh, what was it, 68 deep route running, and 81. Pretty solid receiving back. I'm not really, I, I like receiving back, which is the second best archetype, but I love being some power backs, and I'm starting to get into elusive backs as well. Ability wise, backfield master for one, evasive for zero, grab and go for zero, slot automatic for one, backfield master for one, route tech for two, and short end for one. So, if you're a guy who loves to throw to their running back a lot, this is going to be the running back for you, no doubt in, in my mind. This is going to be the running back for you because he he, he he gets it all. Traits is yet to be desired, but I mean, it is what it is. He finds your extra yards. But overall, I think he's the number four best running back in the game. Number three, we have TD. And, and, and I wanted to put him number two, but I just couldn't. Once again, ability is the main one that runs this game. But he is one of the base fastest running backs in this game. 96 speed, 94 excel, 96 agility, 97 COD, 87 short, uh, 80 medium, 67 deep route running. Overall, a really good card. Ability-wise, short and elite, which a lot of people have been rocking out on Terrell Davis, especially during the MCS. He does get human joystick, evasive for one, goal line back for one, playmaker for one, and short end for one. So you do have some options there to pick. But once again, like I said, I don't really like to put that much AP on my running back. That's something I'm really, really going to need. Unless it's bruiser, tank, or uh, goal line back, I'm not really going to spend on nothing really else. So it needs to really technically be zero for me. But overall, I think if you're, like, passing a lot, um, just like Eckler, he's going to be really good too as well. Number two is going to be Keith Byers. Um, still the truth, still nasty, still one of the best backs in this game, y'all. 95 speed, 93 excel, 93 agility. 92 carrying, 85 bar carriage, 94 juke moon, 87 spin, 97 trucking. Just, not, just look at the stats, bro. There's really no weakness to this card, truly really my personal opinion. It's no weakness. Backfield master for two, bruiser for one, evasive for two, goal line back for zero, and tank for one. One is still one of the best, you know, running backs. He's almost like an in-game running back to me, in my personal opinion. If you're looking to pick this card up, just because of these stats, the abilities. If you just slap it on, bro, and he just he just breaks every tackle almost. So he's definitely one of the best backs in the game. But the number one running back in this game, you guys probably should know who it is. It's going to be A.J. Dillon, the quad father. 95 speed, 92 excel, 93 agility, 92 carry, 94 COD, 96 break tackle, 98 trucking. Probably saying, well, these are some pretty standard stats just like everybody else. Why what makes him so great? The quad father, which he got patched, but I think even still, it's just an extra AP. I mean, you can remove something from your O-line. With this X factor alone, it, it's, it's, it's so dangerous. Because if you slap on that and persistence, I mean, people still rock out with this regardless, even though he did dip once he got patched. But if you slap on that, I recommend slapping on closer will probably be better. Um, player with ability can either enter the zone in the second half. So if you can be patient enough, and it recharges after five plays. I mean, if you don't want to spend the extra on persistent, just go with closer. And then in the second half, you would be definitely, definitely be back to being on demon time. So for sure, I do think this AJ Dillon is still the best back. Even if you're not even going to slap it on him, he still can do some damage. This card is still one of the best backs in the game. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I love you guys when I'm out. Peace.